Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Dr. Rainey, um, welcome first. Uh, you, you are an ER doc, is that right? Okay. Correct. And I um, understand you've been on television a lot? A fair amount. Yes, ma'am. Um, and I understand you, you built a, uh, a home television studio, is that right? That's a bit of an exaggeration. I had a laptop on a, uh, on a stool. <laughs> you, your husband didn't build you a home studio? He did not build me a home studio, no. Okay. Um, let me ask you this. Why do you think that Chicago has become America's largest outdoor shooting range? Do you think it's because of Chicago citizens uh, who have no criminal record, but, but who have a, a awfully a gun in their home for protection, or perhaps for hunting? Or do you think it's because of a finite group of criminals who have rap sheets as long as King Kong's arm? So Mississippi, Louisiana, and Missouri actually have higher firearm death rates. Um, obviously, there's certain... What about Chicago? So I don't live in Chicago. It's not my primary area of research. You don't have an opinion on that? I think there's easy access to firearms compared with, combined with environmental conditions, uh, lack of great education. There have actually been studies showing that when you green vacant lots and repair abandoned buildings in urban neighborhoods, you see decreases in gunshots, in violence, as well as in stress and depression in the neighborhoods around them. That, no disrespect, Doc, but that sounds a lot like word salad to me. Let me ask you this. Um, in, in September of um, this year, our New Mexico governor issued a public health emergency order, and, and she, she suspended the right to bear arms in Albuquerque and the surrounding county. Do you support that? I, I do not. What I do support is the work that New Mexico yeah, has but done. Do you with, support that? No. You don't? Okay. Um, let's see. During his first two years as uh, the DA in Philadelphia, District Attorney Krasner, Krasner and Loster dropped 47% of all the illegal firearms cases in the city. Do you agree with that? I'm not a lawyer. I'm a physician and a public health professional. I can say that New Mexico has done amazing work in trying to I'm address the about, suicide and partner I'm violence. I'm asking about Philadelphia. I don't have the an DA opinion. The DA dropped 47% of all the illegal firearms cases. Did he do the right thing there? I don't have an opinion. However, I will say that just as with fentanyl, the all spread right. of illicit substances. I'm sorry to cut you off, but I'm that's okay. out of time. Understood. The, the L.A. District Attorney, uh, George Gasson, Gasson, said that he would not prosecute any uh, sentencing enhancements for guns or gun gang-related activity. Do you, do you think he did the right thing? Again, I am neither a lawyer nor a prosecutor. You don't have an opinion on that? I, I honestly don't know enough about it to have an opinion. You, you don't think gangs should be uh, prosecuted for having gu illegal guns? I'm neither a lawyer nor a prosecutor, and I don't, that's not my area of research. But yet you want to take guns away? I've never said from, that I want from, to take guns away. From law-abiding citizens. Mm. I, I think that you are saying something that I've not said in my written or oral testimony, sir. Okay. Um, you, you equated gun deaths to heart disease in your opening statement. Yes, sir. Which is a greater public health problem? Gun deaths or heart disease? So heart disease does kill more folks across the United States, largely in the about end of their life. About 700,000? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gun deaths, about 50,000? Correct. Do you, do you support outlawing fried foods? I, I'm sorry. How does that relate to... Because fried foods contribute to heart disease, don't they? Again, I have not written or said that I Aren't support you a, outlawing... You're a physician, right? I am. Have I said that I support outlawing anything in my testimony today? Okay. Um, let me ask one more question. 
I'm sorry, I cannot see that far, doctor, on the very end. Cozy Gay, thank you. Yes, sir. You, you said, I wrote it down, you said that no one should be judged by the worst thing they have done in their lives. Correct. If one of these young doctors sitting behind you, God forbid, walks out on the streets of Washington, D.C., and is raped or sodomized, you don't think the rapist should be judged? I don't think it should be terminal. It shouldn't be for the rest of their lives. You think we should forgive them and not give them any punishment? I believe in you forgiveness. You think nobody's responsible for their actions? I believe in responsibility. I believe in forgiveness. Thank you, Mr. Wow. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Kennedy. Senator Butler. Thank you, Chair Durbin. 